what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button you hit the notify button where we're always dropping new toyota tacoma content or forerunner content and we got a 2024 trd pro used in underground yeah this thing's got about 9,000 miles on it guys and they want fifty-eight thousand dollars for it so i've been kind of checking it out myself over here and we are at albany toyota so you guys make sure you guys give these guys a holler and tell them little kenny sent you and yes i'm in my pro today i'm in my truck today so just wanted to come down here i was at another dealership and they had they had the one hybrid i don't know if you guys have seen my video the first one that i've seen on the tacoma hybrid but uh they didn't have anybody really around that i could uh, try to do a test drive so maybe i'll try to go back over there tomorrow and do a test drive of the hybrid because i really would like to see how it drives with that new powertrain but uh yeah that's not why you're here but they do got the ebok i think i'm hope i'm pronouncing that but they got some upgraded uh coil springs here and they've got it on 285 70 17. so they got it on upgraded tires on these trd pro forerunner wheels and they've got it on the open country at it's a definitely a good looking setup it does look like they got some little good thing is they do got paint protection on here so if you guys can kind of see some of this stuff so this is kind of good for paint protection when you get things like this it's kind of supposed to be like a self-healing some some of these ones are some of them not so much but you could tell like there was a rock chip that got up in here and uh the paint protection definitely did protect it so that's always good sorry to have sorry we're getting a little blurry there so that paint protection is good to have so this truck does does have it on here let's see how much they have on it so it looks like just about 20 percent of the hood here and then they'll probably go down to the fenders as well so yeah they got like like 20 percent. that looks like a factory that looks like a toyota's factory paint protection so 9,000 miles on this it's basically a brand new truck and it's locked but i went in and asked about it because i was wondering like what's the deal the guy said maybe they bit off a little more than they could chew you know on something like this so this particular dealership does have a couple more underground brand new ones coming in 2024s but this is a nice one here especially it's already lifted and it's already ready to go so 58,000, and uh these things are going for around 57,000, maybe around 56.9 or something around there you can get them for about 57 57 you know highs high 56 and uh that's without any like obviously any paint protection or anything like that looks like they added some little stuff right here tried to make it their own trd oh they even got pro yeah because i've never seen i've never seen that before they definitely added that that's kind of cool kind of cool like this guy over here trd pro so yeah so you get the 4.0 engine in this the last naturally aspirated v6 and uh this is a color that i definitely like a lot i like this underground this would definitely be i was telling him also in there his name is james so holler at james if you guys are trying to get a vehicle out here i was telling him this underground right here this forerunner trd pro this probably i would probably trade the truck maybe for one for one of these i'm i've been thinking about it lately and especially since everything that's gone on with the truck and i've had it for a couple of years now meaning we finally got that whole speaking of coil springs and struts and stuff so this thing is finally taken care of it's not making any more noise um they replaced the whole strut and the whole uh coil spring and the whole nine and i went and got my tires uh pressure somebody rec somebody recommended that i go get my tire pressure you know all evened out so i got it at 33 all the way around and it seems to be driving a lot straighter now so it's not really seeming like it's pulling to the right uh, as much so i've been driving that was another reason why i drove it too because i wanted to see how it was doing with the uh since i reset the uh tires got the tire pressure all the way at 33 all the way around so i like to have it at so hopefully uh that'll get the job done but it, you know i might take it in there and have them try to you know adjust it a little bit more but it seems to be pretty straight i'm pretty picky but it seems like it's straight but um yeah so back to what i was kind of saying this truck right here would be nice but you know it's always this if i get something typically like if i get it if i if i get it new definitely i don't like having that you know i don't like having the big license plate thing on the front bumper as you can tell right here on my truck 
I don't put them on any of my cars. I just think it looks better. And plus I have a license plate on the back. Shout out to law enforcement for not pulling me over because of that. So thank you guys. I appreciate your service. So yeah, last of the V6s guys still made in Japan. And so what I will put in this video is, I don't know if it's a rumor or how true it is, is that all of the, uh, all of the uh, Ford winners are going to be hybrid. So I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's that's kind of what I heard. And it, it kind of wouldn't surprise me because Toyota did do that with the 2025 uh, Camry. So all the Camrys are hybrids. They're not all turbocharged. This new one will be a turbocharged four cylinder, just like the Tacoma. But that's going to be interesting because I don't know. I don't think they will be because I heard that. I don't know where I heard it at, but if they're going to all be hybrids, that means that they'll have the same exact, uh, you know, uh, horsepower as the new Land Cruiser or the hybrid Tacoma, which is going to be uh, 326 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque. So I'm not sure if that's what they're really going to do, if they're going to make them all hybrids. And I don't think. I don't think that would, I don't think it would go well. I just don't think it would go over because I think some people just don't want the hybrid system, even though Toyota has been very good with it over the years with the Prius and the RAV and now the Camry, you know, over the last several years. So I don't really have a problem with that. You do lose space when you do have that battery, usually underneath the back seat. So that's kind of like one of those things I need to kind of look into it some more and see if that's what they're doing. But I don't think they would do that because I think a lot of people who are buying Tacomas too, like the 2024 is like, they know that they were coming out with a hybrid, but they chose not to get the hybrid version because they don't want to deal with the battery and the warranties and all that stuff. So that will be interesting to see. Now, one thing I haven't been mentioning is since we've been doing these, uh, four, not these Forerunner videos, but the, uh, Land Cruiser videos is I guess so. I guess all the Land Cruisers now are all wheel drive all the time. So all wheel drive all the time. So that's one thing that I may have not been mentioning in those videos. So that's good to know that they're all wheel drive all the time. So, and this truck is not all wheel drive all the time. And it's four wheel drive, but you have your two high, your two low, or excuse me, your four high and your four low. And then you have your crawl control. And then you also have a rear locker as well. And you're gonna get a 360 camera that works really nice. And I'll show you guys that. Don't wanna get too lazy for people that might just be checking out the channel. And we also got a skid plate down here, TRD skid plate. And as I mentioned, Fox suspension all the way around. Uh, this truck did not get the new upper control arms, which I wish they would have done. Um, all the new trucks basically starting in 2022 all had new upper control arms, the Sequoia, the Tundra, and uh, even the Tacoma. So the Forerunner did not get one. The Sequoia, the Tacoma, and the uh, Tundra, they all got upper control arms, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. These guys that annoy the heck out of me because you really can't put big enough uh, tires on without doing uh, spacers because of these upper control arms, but they did that in 22, so no upper control arms on this one. So they won about $58,000 and I'll just show you guys the thing that they printed out. So this is a used vehicle. So obviously there is some wiggle room. So you might be able to get them to come down because it is used. So, and especially if a brand new one is, yeah, so like they said, this one was the third cheapest one. So you can see they got it at 57, nine, almost 58,000, what does it say? $58,000. And then there was some other ones on here as well couple of the gray ones down here they have look at this one one for seventy two thousand dollars and it's got a thousand miles on it they almost want seventy three thousand seventy three thousand dollars for that i don't know if that's a mistake or what but yeah so fifty eight thousand dollars for this baby right here and you already got the new wheels and tires on it so they probably upgraded those tires there i would imagine you know soon after they bought the vehicle because they only got nine thousand so yeah, there's probably less than 9,000 miles on the tires and they look brand new. And I do like these tires. But yeah, these payments of these vehicles is insane. And you're also gonna get that TRD tuned exhaust. It does sound really good. And this one even looks good too. So yeah, Untamed purchased one of these. That's what I was trying to tell you guys in the beginning. Untamed decided to go ahead and get an underground color. He wanted to get one brand new. I don't blame him. 
and uh, this is a really really nice color this is the last year for uh the forerunner with the v6 but this is not the special color it's not terra and i think the forerunner definitely looks better in the underground i prefer it in the underground over terra so um backstory you guys we are down here at albany toyota so this is the dealership that had the trd pro the first one that we've seen that's actually in the terra color so uh the sun <laughs> The owner, the dealership's son, uh, he's the one, 18 year old kid, 17, 18, and he got a brand new TRD Pro 2024. So shout out to all the dads doing big things and are able to, you know, get their kids, things like that. That's that's awesome, that's nice. It's, it's really nice that he worked hard and got a dealership. They said, uh, they said he got a PhD. The owner, uh, kid got a, the owner's uh, PhD, they're trying to say it's a joke. Uh, I don't know what is it now uh uh phd i don't know papa papa uh has a dealership <laughs> papa has a dealership so let's look at this other one over here that they got on sale it's a limited i don't even know if they got a price in it for us but i was checking it out they don't have a price but you guys can get on their website and check out this limited i wasn't a big fan of the limited but it does this one does look good with the chrome this one looks like a yeah this one's not that new so this one isn't like this isn't very very new because i'm not even seeing the camera here so but that's gonna do it guys so you got the 2024 the last of the v6 is in underground beautiful color um this is a really nice truck you know when i talk about these trucks or look at them you know, I like having the open bed, you know, having the bed, but this is a real truck right here. This is like, like I always tell people, this is the Tacoma SUV and it's a nice one. This is a, a good size truck, a good looking truck. And you can fit the family in it if your family's not too big, but that's going to do it guys. So have a good day and God bless. Thanks for checking out the channel. You guys make sure you guys subscribe. It's absolutely free. We didn't make it to 10,000 subscribers before my birthday, but let's just try to get to 9,000 first and then we'll get to 10,000. So no big deal, but you guys go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe button if I was helpful. So you guys can check out my previous videos if you guys are looking for TRD Pro 4Runners or 4Runners in general. And you guys can kind of see some of the prices and things like that if you go back to previous videos. But uh, that's gonna do it, guys. Have a good day and God bless. We out, peace.